take this one on one up top. Watson was looking at it. Slides away again. Throws for a touchdown. Caught by Miller. Two yard strike. Texans on top. Uh, that was Deshaun Watson in Seattle uh, yesterday in uh, the game of, of Week 8. What is it, Week 8? Yeah. Uh, and Deshaun Watson nearly beat the Seahawks in Seattle. I mean, they, he put up 38 points with four touchdowns on 402 yards passing. And I think the Texans would have actually won the game had Bill O'Brien kept the ball in Watson's hand and had him throw or, or run an option or try to make a play himself rather than handing the ball off to Lamar Miller on third down, because what ended up happening is Miller got stuffed. They had got the ball to Russell Wilson. Uh, the, the Texans had to punt, and then the Houston ended up losing the game. Uh, but the fact we're even saying Bill O'Brien should have put the ball in the hands of his rookie quarterback on the biggest play of the game, it, that just tells you everything you need to know about Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson should have been the first overall pick in the NFL draft. And look, in my last segment, I talked about how Bill Belichick just evaluates players a lot differently than most players do when it comes to the NFL draft. And and it's, it's a pretty basic way of evaluating players. He just cares about playmakers. He wants guys that can step up against Alabama, not guys that step up against Alabama A&M. And that's exactly what Deshaun Watson was. I mean, he was as proven a college quarterback as you're ever going to get heading into the league. And, you know, too many NFL teams care about physical attributes, upside over actual proven playmaking ability. And that's really, Deshaun Watson, I know he was drafted still in the front of the first round. Uh, he still went after Mitch Trubisky, which made no sense at all. And you know, this is how players like Russell Wilson slip through the cracks. And as we saw yesterday, there's the the com- Russell Wilson and uh, Deshaun Watson are very very similar quarterbacks. They don't have the strongest arms in the world. They're mobile, but they can throw in the pocket very well. Uh, and they're both accurate and make pretty damn good decisions. And these p- quarterbacks slip through the cracks all the time because they're you know two inches shorter than people want them to be, or they can't throw the ball eighty yards downfield. Like, uh, you know, Deshaun Kaiser can. Yeah, how's that working out in Cleveland? Deshaun Watson is a quarterback that you can depend on. And again, this is the reason Bill Belichick succeeds is because he picks playmakers over upside. And Deshaun Watson was a playmaker. Mitch Trubisky was the upside. And look, I bet if you pulled all of the GMs in the NFL right now and you asked them, who would you build your franchise around right now? Dak Prescott, Carson Wentz, Jared Goff, or Deshaun Watson. Most of them at this point would say Deshaun Watson, which is unbelievable when you think of where they were in March when people were talking about Watson being drafted behind Trubisky, Kaiser, and uh, uh, who's the guy from Kansas? Oh, uh, Patrick Mahomes. Now, obviously, uh, Watson went second on that list. But the fact we were even saying Watson isn't ready for the NFL is incredible because of what he proved in college. And and look, look if, I, if I were Houston, I would have given the ball to Deshaun Watson on that final play of the game. I would have had him throw it. I would have run a read option. I would have done something. And because Bill O'Brien, who isn't the best play caller in the world, decided to hand it off to Lamar Miller, I think that's the reason they lost the game. Uh, but again... Pick playmakers over upside. It almost always works. Don't fall for the Mitchell Trubisky's of the world, uh, for the, what was the, Jamarcus Russell's of the world, the guys that have legs and can scramble out of the pocket and throw 80 yards downfield. They tend to not succeed in the NFL. Pick a guy who beats Alabama in college in high-pressure situations because that's the kind of quarterback that can go into Seattle on day one of his career and put up 38 points like Deshaun Watson did. So that's it for the Sideline Distant today. I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, I bid you adieu.